It was the years of 1939 to 1945. We were in World War II. Crazy times, y'all. Our US troops, soldiers, were overseas fighting for their lives daily. Every day, all day long, they was killing people and getting killed. During that time period, every time an American soldier would kill a German soldier, they would take a trophy off of that German soldier. And that trophy was always the swastika off of the arm or the SS bolts patch, SS ruins. They would take those patches off of the dead German soldier as a trophy to kind of keep track of how many body counts they had that day. It was crazy all day every day all night every night shooting running bombing explosions all over you just imagine that all of us think that we grew up in bad neighborhoods all of us think that you know the biker wars in the 90s was crazy times but imagine being here imagine seeing this Imagine going through this for years. Just imagine being traumatized, the PTSD, the horrible dreams, not being able to sleep, all of that that came with this war. So when our troops came home, they had boxes full of SS bolts. During this time period when they came home, these US soldiers started some of the biggest 1% motorcycle clubs we have today in the world. So they implicated those SS bolts in the MC culture. After going through all of this as we watch, all of this crazy carnage, all of the shooting, bombing, being in tanks, planes, explosions, being bombed constantly, killing people every day, waking up next to dead brothers. After going through all of that, a normal citizen, a normal everyday person, an American citizen, was no longer somebody you could relate to. You were no longer part of that society you were a part of your own society which is why the biker world was created our own society what's good everybody i'm danny delo and this is danny delo biker tv so i've been asked thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands of times what do the ss bolts mean on people's cuts why do I have them on my hat? People always automatically put the SS bolts in the category of being racist. In the biker world and in the MC world, they mean something totally different. It's not about race. <clears throat> it's not about any of that. See, what people don't get is when our U.S. soldiers came home from World War II, they started some of the biggest and baddest motorcycle clubs we know of today. I'm not going to say what clubs, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Like big fours, stuff like that, right? Now, when they came home, they obviously didn't feel comfortable in the society. After being gone for so long, killing and fighting 
watching brothers die every day <clears throat> it's hard to feel comfortable in a quote-unquote normal society so they started riding motorcycles then they started you know hanging with each other like-minded individuals that have been through what they were gone through and they started motorcycle clubs and when they came home from ww2 they had boxes upon boxes everybody had boxes of trophies and those trophies were patches cut off of german soldiers that they had killed ss bolt patches or ss ruins so later on it, they implicated those patches into their cuts into their patchwork when they started these motorcycle clubs because they didn't want to be a part of society they didn't feel comfortable around people unless there were like-minded individuals so you know all these dirty scary things like skulls ss bolts swastikas uh, spikes and knives and all this dark stuff right wearing black all in leather you know all these things like that that was to warn off society that was to warn people off stay away from me i don't want you around me i don't like you you are not like me bikers created these clubs and just bikers in general not everybody from World War II just went and boom, started motorcycle clubs and joined them. They were just regular bikers. This is when the biker community really started. This is when it got real. <clears throat> Our troops were home. They didn't feel comfortable into today's society or the society that they came home to. So they created their own society, their own world. They lived by their own codes their own levels of honor, respect, loyalty. It was their own world that they created. So they would put on all these things, scary jewelry, patches, wearing all black, leathered out, started the motorcycle clubs and all of that stuff. We all know how the 1% idea came from. We all know that, I'm not gonna explain that. All these things, derived from creating their own world because they didn't feel comfortable in the world they came home to because normal citizens didn't understand their way of thinking see if you're a biker and you've been through some crazy times in your life whether it be gang life street life biker life whatever it may be when you're at a party when we walk in to a quote-unquote normal barbecue birthday party get together with some friends little suburban things right when we walk into those kind of things automatically everybody turns around and looks at you because you bring this 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 i don't i don't even know how to explain it bro you bring this this um atmosphere with you you know you're a dark individual. You're dangerous. You bad to the bone, baby. That's just what we bring, right? People just assume that. They don't understand the big hearts that we have or none of that. They don't understand the life that we live because we live by different codes, different rules in life. That's just how we are. We'll fight to the death for somebody else's kid. We'll fight to the death for somebody else's old lady. We will fight to the death for one of our brothers. It's just who we are. It's ingrained in us through generation to generation to generation. Whether I myself was at war, you yourself was at war, it don't matter. It is in our bodies, in our hearts, in our souls. It's who we are we're fighters normal people quote-unquote regular citizens they'll argue 
they'll argue their point and say, well, I didn't really like that, but I respect your opinion and move on. Guys like us, shut up. We don't play that. We don't respect your opinion. You know why? Because your opinion really doesn't matter to us. We're a different breed of animal. So when our U.S. soldiers came home, they wore these things. And then later on in the MC world, they got implicated as something that you would earn. When you would stand up for your motorcycle club, when you would stand up for your brothers or your brother, when you would stand up for that, for what you believed in, you earned a set of SS bolts. Because those weren't given to you when you were in the Army, the Air Force, the Navy, the Marine Corps. They weren't given to you when you were in Germany fighting for your life. Nobody gave you that. You had to kill to get that patch. You had to do what you had to do to earn that patch. So when later on, when regular people, quote unquote, just regular bikers that didn't go to war, wanted to join these clubs, these organizations, when they wanted to do that, and they actually stood up for their club, stood up for what they believed in, they stood up for their brother, brothers. They stood up like a man. That's when they got issued a SS bolt patch. It was your way of earning it. So that's what it's about, guys. I've been asked about the SS bolt so many times that YouTube literally recommends it when you type in Danny Delo in the YouTube search. It's one of the things that pop up. As Danny Delo SS Bolts. It's crazy how many people wanted to know about this. And I was very reluctant on whether I wanted to do this video or not because A, monetiz monetization on YouTube is ridiculous. B, everybody is so offended by history nowadays that I already know there's going to be a ton of trolls commenting. You say what you want, but they're racist. Even after I'm sitting here teaching you some awesome history, I'm telling you the factual history of our world today. They still won't believe it because they're offended. Their booty hurt. That offends me. I don't like it. You stop it. That's the world we live in, man. That's literally the world we live in. Everybody's offended. So I was very reluctant on doing this video for that reason. Second reason, I was reluctant because those of you that have been rocking with me for a minute now, you guys know how I roll. You guys know that I don't believe in exploiting the MC world in any fashion at all. I don't do it. I don't talk about motorcycle clubs, I don't mention their names out of my mouth, and I don't talk about certain things, certain aspects of the MC world. I just don't do that. Other creators may, you know, explain different patches in way greater detail and talk all this stuff. And and you know, and it pleases the Sons of Anarchy crowds. It really does. But and I'm and I'm not dissing any other creators. There's so many of them I, I wouldn't even remember to mention them. But it's just not me. It's not my style. Me, I like to keep it real and keep it 100. Because that's what my show is about. That's what I'm based about. And that's who I am. That's the only way I know how to be is to keep it real. Keep it 100. Because that's just who I am. And I respect the MC community. I respect the biker world far too much than to ever exploit it for my own personal gain. I just won't do it. So I was very reluctant on doing this video. But then I figured out a way of doing it to where I can just be telling you guys factual history about it. I don't have to go into detail why, what's involved, or any of that. Plain and simple, you stand up for your club, whatever that may entail. 
So, so many people had asked me, I thought, it's time to put this video out. I just had to do it. To all my new subscribers, hey man, much love and respect to you guys. I've been chatting with you guys on and off here and there. Thank you for commenting. Always remember, drop a comment, like the video, share the video. It helps my algorithm. And that's why I haven't been really popping up on your guys' feed much lately. Because I took a week off and um, I had to work on my bike. Yo. Oh, I mean, I'm a biker, man. I'm not just a YouTube creator, right? I had to work on my bike, so I took a week off of doing that, and I swear to God, YouTube was like, oh, he's done. So, we got to get my algorithm pumping again, man. We got to get it moving again. We got to start moving and shaking. So, start sharing my content, liking all my videos. Make sure you comment. Say what's up. Drop a line where you're from, what club you represent. If you're an independent, let me know what state you're in. Let me know what you ride. Whatever it is, man. Drop a comment. Show some love. Or just thank me for being me. Whatever it may be, man. I appreciate all of you. I know this video is going to bring a lot of trolls down here in the comments so we can all entertain ourselves and laugh at them together as we always do. You feel me? Because I am never, ever tripping about some troll talking a bunch of smack. So thanks for watching. To all my new subscribers, thank you. I hope you're loving my content so far. To all my day ones and all my subscribers together, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this knowledge. And I really hope you guys are enjoying all my videos and content. Plenty more to come. I'm going to try my best to get this algorithm back up and running again. I know it's it's been kind of wishy-washy. I'm in and out, in and out. I can't help it, y'all. I'm having a bad time. I'm having trouble being a biker and being a creator. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to y'all, man. There's a lot of these creators, they don't ride, they don't go out and about, they're not on the street, they're not out there like that. I am. And I forget to record, man, I just don't have time, you know, I'm like, man, I'm out doing my thing, having fun with my bros, doing this, doing that, I'm over here, I'm over there, I'm over there, I'm over here. Well, I just, I don't think about doing the videos all the time, so I apologize to y'all, man, I'm gonna try my best to get, stay on top of my game and do my thing, man. But until the next episode, as always, I want y'all to keep it real. And keep it 100. I'll holler at y'all, man. Peace.